I know you have heard the recent news about interest rates going up. Interest rates going up doesn't just affect the real estate market, it affects all aspects of our economy. No matter what your opinion is on interest rates going up, there is some good news about it going up is that our savings accounts also get affected by this interest rate hike. So what I mean by that is your savings account on average for a regular brick and mortar bank is earning about 0.01%, 0.01%. A lot of people like myself put a little bit of money in a savings account. So you have money for a rainy day. If you're going to put it somewhere, you might as well put it in an account that's going to earn you interest right? However, there are high yield savings accounts that earn you 20 times the national average on your accounts, on your money. So if you're going to stash your money somewhere, then you might as well stash it in a high yield savings account. Of course, I'm not saying that you should put all your money in a high yield savings account because on this channel, we talk all about diversifying our income and putting that into different things. But if you have some money that's going to be sitting somewhere, you might as well put it in to a high high yield savings account. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Four places you can stash your money, making 20 times the national average and almost making 7% on your money. Stay tuned. Let's get into the video. Hello, my name is Kat Theo, and on my channel, we talk about bettering your future financially. And today we're talking about high yield savings accounts, where you can park your money that you already are not going to be touching. You're not using it. I do want to say that if you have a bunch of money on hand, good for you. We applaud you. You should definitely be diversifying that extra savings. So don't put the majority in a high yield savings account. I would say diversify, have it into real estate. If you don't want physical real estate, invest in a REIT. If you don't know what a REIT is, check out this video here. Invest in different things like stocks. That's included with dividend stocks, index funds, etc. You can dabble in art, unique art, appreciating art. You can also invest in gold, silver, and other precious metals, cryptocurrency, other side incomes, which on this channel we call side hustles, other businesses, and so much more. You can diversify your income in many different ways. And another way you can diversify your income is just plopping your money in a high yield savings account. Let's get into it. The first high yield savings account we're going to talk about is one of my favorites. I personally have an account with them. This is not a sponsored video. This is an account that I personally hold and I love. They have been great to work with and they're a very reputable company. It's Ally Bank. Ally Bank offers many different services and financial products, but one thing I love is their high yield savings account. So you can see here that they compare your average bank that is yielding 0.01% on your money. Like it's virtually nothing. Whereas Ally Bank is offering 2.75%. As the federal interest rates go up, these rates usually go up with it. Not as much as the federal rate, but it definitely goes up as the rates go up. This number could go higher if interest rates continue to rise. The chair of the Federal Reserve announced in August that he's trying to keep inflation down to 2% every year. So if you go to the grocery store and fill up your cart with $100 worth of groceries, then the following year, those same groceries would cost you $102. Currently though, inflation is about at 8%, hovering around 8%, which is much higher and not as healthy. So we want to get down to 2%. If our inflation is going up by 2%, Ally right now is currently above the inflation rate if it gets down to 2%. So that's really good news. This number might change if rates start going back down, but currently if we ever get down to 2% inflation, this will be above inflation if it stays at this number. So that is awesome. My second favorite high yield savings account is with Wealthfront. Once again, I personally do have an account with them. I use them. This video is not sponsored by them. I just love their product. Wealthfront has a variety of product and services and financial products, and they're 15 times higher than your average brick and mortar bank. They're saying the national average is about 0.21% APY, but theirs is 3.30. That is high for what we have been seeing when rates were hovering at 1% for a high yield. This is three times what 
I have been getting over the last few months. So this is really, really awesome. Let's just put this into perspective how much that is. Let's say you have $10,000 you wanna put in your savings account, like you already have it in your savings account. And the average, like I said, was 0.01%. That's what my local bank offers me at my local bank here where I live. $1, that's what you're getting a year. So once you divide it by 12 months, you're getting about eight cents a month. And that's about accurate. If I had $10,000 in my savings account at my local bank, that's probably what they would return me every month is eight cents. Eight cents. Let's put in that same amount, but at 3.30 APY. That's $330 a year. We're gonna divide that by 12 months. That's about $27 a month. And that might not sound like much to you, but this is money you're just sitting somewhere. So you might as well make more than eight cents a month. Eight cents, $27 a month. That's a huge difference. I would prefer to plop it into somewhere around making $27 a month versus eight cents. All right, so you can sign up with Wealthfront. They have really great options. Nerd Wallet recommends them. They have high ratings on many of their apps and online everywhere you can look it up. They have zero account fees, the same with Allies, unlimited fee-free transfers, transfer to invest in minutes, and they're also FDIC member. All right, the next one I wanna talk about is Bread Financial. I do not have an account with them, but when I saw their high yield savings account, I was pretty shocked about how high it is. Currently, it's sitting at 3.50, 3.5%, even higher than Wealthfront. And Wealthfront, I thought was pretty high. You can't find ones that high. All you need is a minimum of $100, but if you want to do this, you want to put a little bit more money than that. They are an FDIC member or FDIC insured, I should say. They have no hidden fees, free monthly maintenance, free ACH transfers, free online statements, free incoming wire transfers, which is great. Unlimited deposits via mobile check capture and ACH transfer, which is super handy if they don't have, you know, actual ATMs around. That's really amazing. And then here comes some of the fees, $25 per outgoing wire transfer. But as long as it's like ACH, you're fine. It's free. $15 per official check request and $5 per paper statement request. Overall, like very reasonable. If you stayed until now, now I'm going to get into one that is almost yielding 7% currently, which is huge. I actually put in some money into this account a while back and I was earning over 9%. That just changed at the end of October. So now we're in November of 2022, but it's at 6.89%. And that's going to hold strong for the next six months. After six months, so April of 2023, we will see what's going to happen with that interest rate. But currently it is almost 7%. So that's a big deal. That's a big deal. A lot of my stocks are like negative 50% this year. So to actually make almost 7% on something, no matter what it's guaranteed is huge. This is not actual savings account. This is a savings I bond. This is a series I bond. The purpose of this bond is to protect you from inflation. The rate does change twice a year. So it holds strong for six months and then it changes after six months. But all you have to do is hold it for a year and then you can take it out. So this is not gonna be as liquid as a normal savings account. You do have to leave it in for a year, but after that, you can take it and do with it as you wish. And they only allow you to put a maximum of $10,000. So you know it's good if they max you out. If they're telling you they're not, you're not allowed to put all your coins in there, you know it's good. This bond is directly through the US government is treasurydirect.gov. I will put the link in the description so you can find the direct link. It's a maximum of $10,000. And currently the rate is at 6.89%, which is amazing. It is guaranteed you're gonna get this money back and if not, it literally means the government has collapsed. You don't have to worry. This is a safe, safe, safe place to be. Bonds are one of the safest investments to be. And usually when stocks are not doing well, people go into bonds. So right now it's a really great time to be in bonds. So those are the four best places to park your cash if you're looking for somewhere to put it to make a little bit of interest on your money that's just sitting there. Let me know which accounts you have. If you know of any accounts that are actually higher than the ones I've talked about today, let me know if you're interested in the series I bond. I think it's a great opportunity. $10 dollars per person max. Super cool. Let me know what you're going to try in the comments. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell and I will see you in the bloopers. Bye. <laughs> On my channel, we talk all things about, uh, I've said this so many times you think I would know by now.
gold, silver, and also other precious metals. Precious, precious metals. Other side income, oh, what is this? Ally Bank offers many different services and uh, the chair of the Federal Reserve, which I forget his name. What is his name? <laughs> his name is Jerome. He doesn't look like a Jerome. Jerome, okay, Jerome, we see you. That was rude. Right now, interest rates, did I say inflation or interest rates? Okay, let's start over. <sighs> He's trying to keep in, he's trying to keep, oh my God, again. I can't believe that guy's name is Jerome. My second favorite account, high yield account, high yields account, that's 1%. Let's try that again. Come on, cat. Is that right? That can't be right. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Free HC, A, uh, free AHC transfers. Lord have mercy. Okay, anyways, treasury, treasury. So those are my four best places to park your, okay. 